हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग so for all the new parents who are joining for the first time on babies world india on every monday wednesday and friday at 11:30 am tentatively we get online classes for kids aur monday ka jo class hota hai mostly english and language development se related classes uh, hoti hain hamari monday ko wednesday ko numbers and mathematics and फ्राइडे को जो क्लासेस होती है वो मिसलेनियस क्लास मिसलेनियस सब्जेक्ट्स में होते हैं सो प्लीज फील फ्री टू ज्वाइन आर क्लास एंड अगर आपको हमारा ये एफर्ट अच्छा लगता है देन प्लीज हमारे वीडियोस को लाइक करें शेयर करें एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब बेबीज वर्ल्ड इंडिया टू गेट ऑल द नोटिफिकेशन हाई सोनम गुड मॉर्निंग एंड हेलो कौशिक यू वेलकम टू द क्लास गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एडविक एंड वेलकम टू द क्लास हेलो अमृता गुड मॉर्निंग हेलो शिरीज हाय ओके सो हाउ आर यू गाइस हेलो वेव योर हैंड टू मी सी हेलो शुभा मैम हाय हेलो एवरीवन ओके So just shout out say good morning good morning or namaste good job everyone hi barsa good morning and hello archie good morning and welcome to the class good morning ayush and welcome to the class hello ruchi good morning Good morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will start our today's class. And I have something to start with that is singular and plural. Where to apply s or where not to apply s? Okay, so before go ahead, just tell me with my fingers. How many fingers? one finger one finger now how many fingers two fingers two fingers and in this hand one finger one finger and two fingers whenever it it is more than one it's you should always apply s with the practice you will learn it okay one finger good job two fingers two fingers now you tell me okay how many finger finger or fingers three fingers three fingers four fingers Okay good job everyone now i have a book where we can learn it okay let me turn it a little bit like this okay so i can there are some apples right look how many apples 1 2 3 4 apples look it is okay Uh, apples 
apples because more than one apples how many salaries just one so salary not salaries salary there are two lemons two lemons there are one two three four five six seven there are seven peas seven peas because more than one how many strawberries two more than one so strawberries strawberries two strawberries one carrot not carrots one carrot carrot no s one mean no s one carrot one pineapple no s one mean no s one pineapple there are so many grapes there are so many grapes grapes s look grapes grapes good job i know uh, if you are learning it for the first time it takes time but over the time you will be master of it okay so uh, okay i can go ahead with some more two oranges two oranges two oranges just one banana one banana no s one banana one watermelon no s one watermelon look watermelon not watermelons one mean no s one watermelon two pears there is s how many pears two one and two so two pears how many broccoli or broccolis just one good job one broccoli one broccoli look there is no s one broccoli and one corn one corn no s just one so one corn good job everyone okay so now i have some of the phonics word to go ahead with but before that anyone come on do you want me to do the phonic song or uh, uh blending phonics or should i start with my cards to get practiced Any suggestions, guys? Uh, phonic song, anyone? Phonic songs or blending uh, uh, phonic practice, or should I go ahead with the, these cards? Okay, cards. What do you say, Sonam, about cards? Ayush says cards. 
Yes means what? Okay, let's go ahead with the cards and then we will carry on if you guys want to go ahead with, okay, phonics. Okay, just sing uh, our phonic song quickly and then we can go ahead with the cards. A sounds like a, a, a. B sounds like ba, ba, ba. C sounds like ka, ka, ka. D sounds like, okay, wait, hold on. A sounds like a, a, a. B sounds like ba, ba, ba. C sounds like D sounds like d d d. E sounds like e e e. F sounds like f f f. G sounds like g g g. H sounds like ha ha ha. I sounds like e e e. J sounds like j j j. K sounds like k k k. L sounds like la la la. M sounds like ma ma ma. N sounds like na na na. O sounds like o o o. B sounds like pa pa pa. Q sounds like kwa kwa kwa. R sounds like ra ra ra. S sounds like s s s. D sounds like da da da. U sounds like a a a. V sounds like wa wa wa. W sounds like wa wa wa. Then X. X sounds like x x x x x x. Y sounds like ya ya ya. Z sounds like or Z sounds like Z, Z, Z. Good job, everyone. Okay. I know sometimes some of you need practice because uh, some of you are still learning your phonic sounds or blending phonic, phonic sounds. So that's okay. That's what I always ask you. We can repeat it. क्योंकि ऑलमोस्ट पिछले एक साल से हम साथ में ऑनलाइन क्लास कर रहे हैं प्री स्कूल क्लास तो बहुत सारे बच्चे जो हैं तब से हम लोग आई मीन साथ में इस क्लास में हैं सो मेनी ऑफ यू हैज लर्न योर फोनिक्स बट मेनी ऑफ यू आर इन प्रोसेस सो दैट्स ओके वी कैन कीप ऑन गोइंग टुगेदर ओके सो Last Monday, I taught you a couple of the phonic sounds like, if you remember, I taught you C for K, but CH like CH, right? And T for T and TH like TH or TH. Hi, Kartik. Good morning. Welcome to the class. Hello, Sheetal. Good morning. Okay. So today I'm going to uh, take ending sound. Th. 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 We will take ending sound. Ah. We will take this. Uh oh. Hold on. Sometimes why it doesn't work. Oh, okay. okay. We will take uh, this in if board is wet, it gives me hard time in writing. 
Okay. So we will take what happened to yoga. Okay. We will take th sound, tha sound as ending sound. Ending th sound. Tha. E A R R T. Earth. What is this? This is our planet. Earth. Earth. T H. When it comes together, it sounds like th. Th. Earth. 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 Or th. Whenever it comes th together, जबी t और h को साथ में लिखते हैं तो क्या sound होता है? Th. Th. Good job. Let's of the more words with th as ending sound. W i t h. We. Th. With. We. Th with M A Ma Th Math M A Ma T H Th Ma Th Math B O Bo Th Both Good job Ayush I can see that you responded to you, uh, you are responding here. Good job. And all the kiddos who are responding to their parents, that's your, I mean, you're going, you are doing great there. Good job, everyone. Both. 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 B A B A T H. B A T H. B A T H. B A B A T H. Ba, t, bath, bath. Okay. So, okay. So, can you guys tell me some of the more? What's happening here? Okay. This one is not working again. Okay, can you tell me some of the more let uh, more words with the just two or three maybe ending with th? We learned both. We learned bath. We learned math, uh, earth, and with. Anyone? I have T, I have H together, and I want something to write here. Come on. We learned five words today. We learned earth. With math, both bath, th as ending sound. Look at it. Are you okay? Um, Adwig said, Parth. Mm, yes, it's a name, Parth, and And look at it. Ayush said, my name is also Parth. Look at uh, the coincidence. Good job. And Path. Yes, Ayush, Path. Good job. Faith. Good job. So let's start writing one by one. So P, 
A T H Ba T Ba T Ba T and if you add here R Parth it's Ayush nickname okay so uh, hi Komal good morning hello Rana good morning and welcome to the class Remember, Komal, long, long, long back, you asked me that when we are going to teach our kids or when they are ready to learn the combo phonics or blending phonics like CH, TH. So today we are working on that. And I think last Monday we started it. Okay. Yes, Advik. Birth. B. I R T H T H as ending sound T B R T B R T Faith F A I T H Faith Faith Yes, Sushrita, good job. We just learned about that. Math M A T H. We learned five <clears throat> we learned five words with ending sound earth with ending sound th that is earth with math both and path and path or path birth faith one more last song with it anyone I just feel, start feeling sleepy at this point of time. Yes, look at Kaushiki. She says teeth. E. Show me your teeth. Everyone, come on, show me your teeth. E. You know how many milk teeth you guys have? The number of milk teeth, you know, or... Uh, yes, milk seed. They are 20. All kids have 20 teeth. Yes. Yes, Shweta. Fifth. Yes. So I will take both of that. Look at it. Yes, Sushrita, tooth is also uh, one of the word with ending sound, th, tooth or teeth, fifth and tenth. Good job, everyone. So I'm going to take, take teeth or tooth. And tenth and fifth. So the concept of, of writing here, all the kids should see how these words are made. Yes, Sushrita, mouth. Yes, mouth. Ma, ut. Ma, Ut, mouth, yes. So here we go. You learned these five words with the ending sound TH. And these sum of five to seven TH sounds. So please, please note down or you can teach some other uh, words also. But if you want to follow uh, this classes uh, stuff then please just practice on some of these 
maybe start with just five these four one this one and some of these uh words the whole week so today i'm not going to give any sentences because i already made a complete video on some short speaking uh, i mean uh, daily use short english uh, sentences and today again i will be posting one more video maybe today or tomorrow morning about the english sentences you can get it practice with your uh, children so for today's wh as every monday we give some of the sentences to our kids to practice with so today no english sentences just practice th ending th sound ending th sound please don't go, uh, uh, confuse them with uh, ch sound or dh sound just go ahead with th sound and practice whole week so that they uh, they will engross it okay you can start with 5 10 then go ahead with 15 and all but work on uh, just th ending sound th ending sound whole week then next week we will choose either a uh, ch sound or th sound or f sound ph wala f whatever okay so this was about almost today's class and yes so shweta cloth is also having th ending sound good job everyone and i don't know whether you guys will be interested in this or not but i got one book where i can talk about one of the animal i think you will be interested in let me find out one which you may like uh 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 just give me one i mean 30 seconds not one minute just 30 seconds yes it must be here yes so as i promised that we are going to learn about one of the animal so this is my favorite book the atlas of animals although this is shrihan's book i got it for shrihan uh so i keep on explaining him about different animals from different continents but yes sometimes samyak also uh, takes interest and i explain him so i thought of explaining you about Asian elephant today. आज हम लोग बात करेंगे एशियन एलिफेंट जो हमारे यहाँ पे मिलता है सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस बुक इज रियली टू हैवी आर इट्स रियली मे बी मोर देन टू और थ्री के जीज बुक सो यस भाई शांति से रहे तो यहाँ पे ऐसे यस एश दिस इज माई गुडनेस दिस इज Asian elephant. This is Asian elephant. Asian elephant. What is this? Which animal is this? Elephant. First of all, elephant. Yes. Hi, Amarjot and Ashdeep. Good morning, and welcome to the class. Yes. Compared to the African elephant, the Asian variety is smaller. You know, elephant is widely found in Africa too, and African elephant are more giant and big than Asian elephant. Asian elephants are little smaller than African elephant, and we, okay, we live in Asia. Considering all of you uh, who are watching this video. are from india or pakistan or nepal so most of my viewers are from this con these countries only so yes okay 
with round ears and with just one uh, prehensile lip at the end of its trunk. So Asian elephant has comparatively round ear. Asian elephant has round ear and smaller than African elephant and smaller than African elephant. Uh, okay, and these elephants also live in matricular groups. And yes, look at the fact the elephant groups are headed by elderly female elephant. The elephant groups are led by all other elephant follows the elderly female elephant and they live they mostly live in a group and they go together to search water and food so i will explain you in short asian elephants are smaller than african elephant we learned about Asian elephant. Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. Asian elephants has round ear, round, 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 comparatively round ear. They live in a group and elderly female elephant lead the group. Yay! This was all about four or five sentences are good enough for you, uh, for you to learn about. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining. So today's whole week task is work on the th ending sound words and keep on practicing on easy, short English sentences I started uh, sharing with you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye, all the kiddos. Amar, Arshadeep, Ranak, Adwik, Ayush, Kaushiki, Shushrita, Archie. <coughs> and all of you, Karthik, if you are here still. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, Barsha, Amritar. Komal, Ruchi, Sheetal, Sonam. See you all on Wednesday, 11.30 a.m. with mathematics class or numbers class, you can say. And we can learn some more stuff. Or if you have if you have something to say about ki mujhe class me kuch alag cheez add karni chahiye then feel free to pour your suggestions so we will also incorporate those stuffs in our class okay bye komal bye bye ruchi jaane ke pehle please video ko like kar dena acha lage video to share kar lena apne social media pe and Keep on sharing our channel, our videos, if you like it. Komal, if you talk about number additions, then mostly four years ago, some children start learning the additions. But simply, if you talk about addition, you can learn the children's age of three years. If you want, we can... Uh, I mean, yes, we are doing in our class, right? Jo hum dots add karke uh, likhna sikhate hai ya fir flash cards ke through bhi maine kai baar Wednesday ke session, Wednesday ke sessions mein uh, karana, mein karati hoon. Like, hold on, I will show you one example I have, I think in this book. Math uh, wala section kaha hai isko?
सो so मोस्टली क्या होता है इस एज में जब बच्चों को आप एडिशन शुरू में सिखाते हो सो द बेस्ट पार्ट बेस्ट थिंग ओके इसमें मैथ का नहीं है पार्ट कोई नहीं मैं आपको यहाँ पे अभी बता देती हूँ बट ये चार साल के बाद एनी टाइम आप आई मीन डिजिट एडिशन सिखा सकते हो ऑब्जेक्ट एडिशन आप मोस्टली यस यू कैन स्टार्ट कोमल यू कैन स्टार्ट और सिंपली आप इस तरीके से कराना शुरू करो एडिशन इसके ऊपर भी मैंने आई थिंक बहुत पहले ही कराया था बनाया था वीडियो कि बच्चों को एडिशन आप कैसे सिखाना शुरू करो जैसे ये सिंपली स्टार बना दिया बना दिया देखो ऐसे तो बहुत सारे बुक्स और वर्कशीट आपको आ, मिल जाएंगे अमेजोन पे आ, देखो अमेजोन में हमेशा इसलिए कहती हूँ क्योंकि एक वो एक ऐसी जगह है जहाँ से मैं भी रीच आ, सर्च कर सकती हूँ बुक्स या फिर आ, कोई मटेरियल और आप भी वहाँ से सर्च कर सकते हो ऑल दो देर आर डिफरेंट वेबसाइट्स और आपके जो नज़दीकी में आपके बुक स्टोर होते हैं वहाँ पे भी सर्च करिए कई बार वहाँ पर भी अच्छी चीज़ें कम दामों पर मिल जाती हैं तो वहाँ से भी आप वर्कशीट लेके आ सकते हो अदरवाइज सिंपली एक शीट लो उसमें चार या पांच लाइन बनाओ बस या फिर शुरू में दो या तीन लाइन बनाओ ऐसे टू स्टार्स मैंने बना दिए प्लस का साइन बना दिया ओके और थोड़ा क्लियर करने के लिए इस तरह से बॉक्स बना दिए और यहाँ पे एक स्टार का और साइन बना दिया इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी स्टार्स तो यहाँ पे एडिशन सिखाने के पहले बच्चे को काउंटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट काउंटिंग पता होना चाहिए ये पहला रूल है और दूसरा नंबर पहचानना एटलीस्ट वन टू टेन तक नंबर पहचानना आना चाहिए जो कि मुझे आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर कि जो भी हमारे क्लास के रेगुलर बच्चे हैं उनको वन टू फिफ्टी तक तो आराम से आता होगा बिकॉज आई कीप ऑन आस्किंग हाय गंगा हेलो या कोमल दैट इज वन ऑफ द आई मीन इवन वी ऑल्सो प्रेफर टू ऑर्डर हियर ऑल्सो आई मीन वी ऑल्सो प्रेफर हियर टू ऑर्डर फ्रॉम एमेजोन डॉट कॉम वो एक ऐसी जगह है जहाँ पे आपको सब कुछ मिल जाता है सो <laughs> ओके so, okay. तो इस तरीके सा, से आप स्टार्ट करिए सिखाना तो पहले यहाँ पे बच्चा जो है वो लिखेगा टू प्लस वन एंड पहले क्या होता है कि यहाँ पे थ्री स्टार्स ड्रॉ कर सकते हैं कि दोनों को ऐड करके एंड देन नंबर सो दिस इज द बेसिक थिंग और इसके अलावा तो इस तरह से जब आप शुरू करोगे सिखाना उसके भी पहले सिंपली ओके आई हैव नॉट लाइक दिस ओके कोई भी एक तरह की दो चीजें लो और एक ओके आई हैव टू थिन मार्कर I have two thick marker. How many markers are uh, total in uh, in total? So, इस तरह से बच्चा count करेगा. So, this is the way you are in uh, making them learn additions easily. इस तरह से आप बच्चे को बहुत easily addition सिखा सकते हैं. कोई भी घर के object लेके. For example, okay. I have two cards in one hand. I have one card in another hand. In other hand, how many cards do I have? Let's count: two plus one, one, two, three. इस तरीके से कोई भी object लेके आप करा सकते हो प्लेडो लेके करा सकते हो प्लेडो लेके उसको छोटी छोटी उसकी गोलियां बना दो और उससे सिखा सकते हो साढ़े चार साल का है रनक यू कैन स्टार्ट teaching him slowly start introducing the addition you can start yeah aur is tarah se jab bacche seekhte hai na to wo jaldi bhulte nahi hai aur ye is tarah ki learning jab aap play based learning karate ho to unka concept bahut acche se clear hota hai aur agar aap सिर्फ डिजिट के थ्रू कराएंगे तो बच्चे के दिमाग में अच्छे से बैठता नहीं है बहुत ज्यादा टाइम लगता है और बच्चे भूलते भी ज्यादा हैं इसीलिए हमेशा से आई I मीन mean, अब जो है 
कई सालों से प्ले बेस्ड लर्निंग बच्चों के लिए वन ऑफ द बेस्ट वे होता है सिंपली बच्चा जब खेल रहा होता है तो बच्चे के जो ब्लॉक्स होते हैं अभी मेरे पास यहाँ पे है नहीं और जिस रूम में टॉयज रहता है समय कभी उसी रूम में सो रहा है तो अभी उसके रूम में जाना मतलब शेर के मुंह में हाथ डालना होगा सो so, यस yes, जैसे कि ब्लॉक्स जो होते हैं ब्लॉक्स से जब बच्चा टावर बना रहा होता है तो ओके okay, अरे बाबा रे तो जैसे कि ये एक ब्लॉक रहा इसके ऊपर बच्चे ने एक ब्लॉक लगाया दूसरा ब्लॉक लगाया ओ थ्री ब्लॉक तीन एक कलर का ब्लॉक लगाने के लिए दो फिर जैसे कि ब्लैक ब्लॉक दिया उसके बाद से ओके ऐड टू मोर टू और यहाँ पे येलो या रेड कोई अलग कलर का ब्लॉक दे दिया थ्री प्लस टू हाउ मेनी ब्लॉक्स आर टूगेदर दे आर फाइव थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव तो इस तरह से खेल खेल में आप बच्चे को सिखा सकते हो और स्लोली फिर डिजिटल एडिशन जो है वो सिखा सकते हो Hmm. So this was all about मेरी भी डॉटर को भी ऐसी ऑब्जेक्ट एडिशन इंट्रोड्यूस कराई थी मैं बहुत जल्दी कॉन्सेप्ट समझ गई यस वर्षा यूर राइट यू आर वेलकम कोमल ओके थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन बाय हैव अ ग्रेट टाइम आई विल सी यू ऑल ऑन वेंसडे टिल देन बाय टेक केयर